Hey, what's up, Renegade Heroes? Michael here. It's Tuesday again, so you know what happens. Um, first and foremost, I wanna, you know, apologize for my lack of creative content lately. Um, you know, stuff's been going on. I've been very busy lately, so, you know, bear with me for now. But, Creative Week, I had no idea what to do, and then it hit me. You know, as a follow-up of last week, um, you know, I had some comments saying that people love my uh, my helmet, and you know, this summer marks the one year anniversary that my helmet actually exists in the way that it is right now. So, without further ado, I'm gonna talk about my Sharpie helmet. Um, this helmet's an Arai VX Pro 2. Um, I bought it for 50 euros uh, in a very crappy condition. It has this very ugly. Yeah, a greenish, orangey flames and whatnot. It was really ugly, and I painted it white with just some rattle cans. Uh, I think it was two, three layers of white, and then just some random sharpies. Uh, I think I used three of them on this helmet. Three, two, three sharpies, uh, just permanent markers, and then a. A few thin layers, I think eight or nine thin layers of clear coat, uh, which is also just a rattle can. And yeah, and this is the outcome. Uh, this helmet still gets written with, of course. It's not being on a shelf or anything. And yeah, I'm just gonna go through a little bit of the helmet right here. Um, got this. Uh, you can, you can really, really see where I started drawing because I did not know what to do. Just like the front's just really messed up and not really uh, pleasant and then I started with the back which you know started to become something um, like the teeth and, and whatnot and the drips which ended up in a hard to gram and people are probably wondering why the hell are you wearing a hard to gram on your helmet well back then I was um, you know with a girl she liked him very much and I wanted to have a little tribute to her on my helmet but unfortunately, this girl, she left, and it ended up with me with a hard ground on my helmet. But, you know, I could also say, um, I liked him, and Bam Margera, one and one makes two, so it just stays, you know, it's, it's a bittersweet memory. Um, yeah, but the rest, we got stuff from my childhood that I very much like. We got uh, Mega Man, we got Trunks, the red guy, Goku, Homer. Uh, Ichigo from Bleach, uh, random doodles. We got the Cartman because people associate with me with Cartman sometimes. And, you know, I love South Park. And, you know, I can do a pretty good impression of Eric Cartman. So, Skigazam! Gang him! So, yeah, and um, the Buffalo Comer. It's it's my nickname for, uh, on the on the track, so. <laughs> from, from back in the day, so I'm just gonna keep it. Uh, and it's uh, this one is actually just a final cutout, but it was just a waste to get rid of it. So I'm just I just implied it into the uh, into the helmet, and it, it gives a nice contrast, you know. Uh, we got an adoptable right here, custom character from a friend of mine who made this, and I thought it was really awesome to not include it. We got Wacko Warner from the Animaniacs. We got uh, Woody Woodpecker, Shadow Hedgehog. Uh, we got Val Helen, Brian. We got Alucard from Helsing on the background. We got Stewie. We got Maybe Glory, uh, Kenny, Dexter. We got Kirby up in here. My favorite energy drink of all time, Rockstar Energy Drink, of course. And that's pretty much the helmet itself. Uh, of course, you can't have a helmet or art without Easter eggs. So I'm just gonna pop the lid off for you guys. So you can see, uh, the helmet itself, by the way, took me a month to draw. Um, more or less, it took me uh, more time to think about what I wanted to put on there, other than just uh, drawing the drawing itself. And the drawing itself is just done by hand. I sketched it out with a pencil and then, uh, yeah. So yeah, this is the Easter egg on the helmet itself, which is uh, Chucky. One of my favorite horror movie uh, characters of all time. Of course, that I love gaming. My last name and just some random doodles and stuff. And the insert GoPro here. Fujiwara Toka Shop logo. 
and the CM Punk fist because I'm a wrestling fan, I'm a CM Punk fan, and I'm straight edge. So that's, uh, that's a nice addition. Oh, we've got the lid right here. Uh, the lid itself took me two to three weeks to uh, to finish, uh, including uh, just drawing, uh, thinking drawing and, uh, and clear coating. Um, yeah, but uh, this one also has this thing sticking out uh, of my childhood, like uh, the self-made part, of course, just have to put it on there. Uh, the things that make my helmet what it is, just one piece, I just really want it to be one thing. We've got the bike match from Mars, we've got Tom and Jerry, we got Beavs and Butthead, Bugs Bunny with a gun, got the Joker on the background, uh, Grim Reaper from uh, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, we got uh, Johnny Go, no not Johnny Gomez, Nick Diamond from uh, Celebrity Deathmatch, because Celebrity Deathmatch was really cool, we got Daffy Duck, we got Droopy, we got Klaus, it's a Nazi helmet, we got Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we got Nate Bit Brain, because I'm a nerd. Come on. Uh, we got Patrick, of course, the mean Patrick. We got some little eight bit creatures. We got the puppet for Five Nights at Freddy's. We got a nice koi fish. Bender, Fried, Johnny Bravo, Deadpool, Jason. What more can I ask for, you know? Um, and yeah, this the bottom of the lid is just the one big gigantic mess because let's face it, I'm I'm a mess. My, my brain's just one big mess, and it's sometimes a fun mess, you know. It has the memes, it has the pedo bear, and you know, the troll face, some logos, and, and some 90s stuff. Uh, dead tree with a dead bird on it. Uh, shadowy anime character, Rising Sun. Uh, I'm not gonna pronounce it, but you get the idea. Uh, this is just an Easter egg for when I just look up and wander. Well, I just have to look straight ahead, you know. Um, yeah, and just, uh, I got this little thingy, well, you can this, this part you can really not see, but, um, I need to have it, need to put it on there, because, um, back in the day, when I was drawing this, I was really in a bad position, and drawing the helmet gave me a little bit of creative freedom to clear my mind, to express myself, and that's why this helmet is so special, and that's why I wanted to dedicate a little bit of heart, um, on this subject uh, we got this little thing right here it says power and wisdom you choose the right path I got here the lift the ride right to right to lift thing because I love riding uh, it makes me feel alive and gives me my freedom and I sure as hell want to ride again just like I used to do and you know this little line right here it's just um a mashup from when I was a kid to right now and it just says like I control my destiny I control my faith I can overcome all obstacles I can make it through everything and this is my power this is my will and this is my life and I have no regrets and no regrets I have so yeah that's basically my helmet in a nutshell and that's pretty much the backstory behind it if you have questions about it, more questions that I want to, that you want me to answer, leave a comment down below. Hit me up on the social media. If you have suggestions on next topics that we can do, please hit us up. We love to have uh, a connection with you guys. Uh, if you have suggestions, don't be uh, afraid to drop them. If you have comments, creative criticism, or whatnot, just please, we love to hear from you guys and. From the bottom of my heart, everybody, the Renegade Heroes, the Renegade Crew, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this video, um, the crew for sticking with me for some tough times. I really love you guys. You're super special to me. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit us up with a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, you know what to do. And I will see you again next Tuesday. Peace!